Hi, I'm Derek with WeBoost. Today, I'm going to talk about signal boosting cases and do some tests with them. I've got a couple of different signal boosting cases here. In theory, these seem like they would work great. Unfortunately, though, they don't quite live up to the hype. I'll show you why. First off, I have this type of case. You could call this a passive boosting case, as it does not provide any sort of amplification. The idea behind this case is to extend the physical size of your cellular antenna by sliding the two antennas out, one for 3G and one for 4G. It increases your antenna size and therefore should increase your signal. The problem lies in the way cellular signal is transferred. These antennas are not attached to the phone's antenna in any way. For an antenna like this to work properly, you would need a direct connection between the case's antenna and the phone's antenna. The way smartphones are designed, there's no way to directly connect to their internal antennas. The air gap between the phone's antennas and the case antennas cause more signal loss than benefit. Without a direct connection to the phone's antennas, this case will provide very little, if any, signal increase. You can see the results in our test here. All right, so now we're gonna test this case. First, we'll put our phone into test mode for an accurate representation of the signal. If you're not sure how to do that, uh, check out this video, we will show you how. Okay, so our phone's in test mode. You can see the signal is now in numbers instead of bars, which is more accurate. First, we'll turn off our Wi-Fi so we're not getting any misinformation. And then let's do a speed test. Okay, so without the phone case, we're getting a 1.5 down and a 1.38 up. So let's put the phone case on. Now we'll do another speed test. So with the case on, it actually got worse. 0.83 down and 0.5 up. Next, we have this type of case, more of an active boosting case, as this one provides cellular amplification. The idea behind this case is that it will amplify or boost the cellular signal coming to your phone to provide you with a stronger signal. Again, in theory, this sounds great. And if you put this case on your phone, you'll even see an increase in signal bars. However, this isn't actually benefiting you or increasing your connectivity. To understand why, you need to understand some basics on how cell towers and mobile phones communicate. Cell towers are constantly sending out signal to any devices within their range. When a phone comes into range, the tower recognizes it, locks on, and will allocate and send cellular signal to the phone. When the phone goes out of range and the tower no longer detects that the phone is there, it will reallocate that signal elsewhere. Your phone plays a part in this as well. It receives signal, known as downlink signal, and sends signal, known as uplink signal, to let the tower know it's there, sort of creating a signal loop. Cases like this do in fact amplify cellular signal. However, it's only one way, on the downlink side. So, when you turn the case on, you'll see an improvement in bars, as this boosts the incoming signal from the tower. However, it does not amplify the uplink signal back to the tower. If your phone can't communicate back to the tower, the signal loop is broken. The tower doesn't know it's there and won't send the phone any signal. In order to boost the downlink signal, this case couples directly to your phone's antennas, further blocking and degrading your phone's uplink transmissions. So it should help with the downlink signal, right? Well, actually no. Signal boosters add noise to the system, so they only work when they can receive a better signal than the phone itself. In this case, the booster is co-located or directly next to the phone, so the case will not improve the phone's received signal quality. It does have a battery bank incorporated to charge your phone, which is nice. But if you need the case to keep you connected, it just won't cut it. You can see how this case works in our test. Okay, we've got our signal showing up as a negative number here, which is more accurate than the bars. So we'll do a speed test. And see what the speeds are. Okay, with the signal case off, we're getting a download speed of 2.5 and an upload of 3.98. So 
So now we'll turn the case on. Boots up. Now let's do another test. All right, with the signal case on, the download speed is about the same. Um, that could be just be fluctuation in, in the signal strength. But the upload speed you can see is significantly less. If you do need to remain connected and speed up your data transfers, there is a solution. WeBoost makes powerful cell phone signal boosters that boost your signal up to 32 times. They boost both uplink and downlink signal, keeping you connected nearly anywhere you need to go. And they receive the signal at a stronger location than the phone itself. WeBoost signal boosters come in options for a single phone, multiple users, for vehicles or homes. And they work with any device on any network. If you'd like to learn more, visit us online or give us a call. I hope this helps you understand these types of cases and their limitations. If you've got any questions, leave those in the comments below. And please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.